Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. It's me, the one and only. Wow. <laughs> welcome back guys. We're going to be reacting to a great video today. As I mentioned before, I will be reacting to a lot of reality shows from the early 2000s era. We're talking about Flavor of Love, Rock of Love, Charm School, Bad Girls Club, I Love Money, I Love New York. A lot of those. Today, we're going to dive into the waters of Rock of Love 2. <laughs> and this is called Rock of Love Season 2 Fights. Yes, we're going to be reacting to that. Rock of Love is actually a reality show featuring Brett Michaels. He is the lead singer of the band Poison. And he is actually... Very popular, I guess. I personally never heard his songs. Like, I never did because I'm not really into rock like that. Poison? Um, no. No. Brett Michaels when he was young? Maybe. Rock of Love actually was a reality show just like Flavor of Love. It features one guy that is looking for love. So in this case, it was Brett Michaels, and he had 20 women competing for him on the first episode, of course. Girls get eliminated, there's drama, there's fights, and at the end, Brett picks um, the winner, and which is, uh, I don't think they last too long together, but whatever. This is actually season two, and but season one, I'm going to find, try to find a video, you know, with best moments. But from season one, there are a lot of famous girls right now. Lacey, um, Brandy M, Brandy C, Megan, Heather. Right now, Lacey has a um, podcast. It's called Talk of Love. Podcast by Lacey Skulls. Oh, sorry. Lacey Mother <laughs> Skulls. Okay. <laughs> She's great. Go ahead and watch her. To be honest, I'm not going to even address the situation that is happening between Heather and her. I really don't care. I am, you know... I watched them videos, so I'm not going to be like, oh, there's drama. I'm not going to follow this person. Uh, I just want the tea. I just want to love every castmate. And that's what it is. You know, I don't want to jump into sides or whatever. I saw evidence from both. But to be honest, I'm still going to watch the podcast. You know, I like the interviews. Now let's jump into season two. Season 2 is actually one of my favorite seasons because it features a lot of the girls that I actually like from the show. And of course, you can like everyone, but I have my few favorites from Season 1 and Season 2. So, without further ado, we're going to jump into the video. And this video is from London Soho. Shout out to you. <laughs> Anyway, before we start the video, make sure you hit the like button, share, and, sus and subscribe to my channel. Um, leave your comments down below with your suggestions, what do you want me to react to. And of course, follow me on Instagram and TikTok as MoaCheeks. Let's revive the draw. Let's go. Well, she was trying to turn her against, against us. you guys. Ugh. I don't appreciate Christy Joe taking what I said about one of my teammates and twisting it, and that girl can just go to hell. You yeah. like you're like trying to like turn Christy people Joe. against each other and like manipulate people. I can't hear. Listen. And it just seems like you're kind of fake, and I just don't like that. Every time I've talked about you, I've always said she's so pretty. That's why you anymore. went straight to. Um, Kathy and said that we were I talking shit. We were all That's around. bullshit. <laughs> you fucking straight up lied to her. Who is joking? And like, we're, you were like not trying say? to fucking say that we were like talking shit. Jesus. So just you stop talking. I just so much shit. Again. If you have something to say about me, say it to my fucking face. And worry us if you got no okay? fucking makeup on because it's scaring the shit out of me. I don't even want to look over there. It's scary. <gasps> Please do. Megan, what the hell? I was talking to Catherine <laughs> about. Daisy. I know some of you might be lost of why Destiny's coming towards Christy Joe and attacking her. Well, what happened is that they had a challenge, okay? This challenge was um, they had to protect baby Brett. And they had to roller skate. And Kathy was actually in a team with Destiny and, if I'm not mistaken, Daisy. So apparently Christy Joe was making jokes about how they lost. Um, but not in a, you know demeanor way but she said something like 
and your teammates uh, were actually talking about your mothering skills or something like that. And she was like, I'm not going to take the blame for it. So she, Kathy went and confronted actually Destiny and Daisy. And they were like, we never said that because it was actually Christy Joe. Like I saw the clip too. Destiny pretty much confronting Christy Joe and telling her that if she has something to say, she can say to her face. Mm hmm. You know, Destiny was one of my favorite girls, even though she was kind of like a but I love Destiny. So let's keep on watching. And Megan, she's so funny here. Like, if you don't put any, any makeup on, please. Uh, 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 no, 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 don't see it. <laughs> All right, let's keep on watching. About Daisy sleeping with Brad. Every Did you sleep with Brad? So, Daisy. Did you sleep with Brett? You were in there without cameras, alone, in the middle of his bed. I'm sorry. Dude, OK, first of all, there's nothing wrong with trying to hang out with someone. I mean, is that a possibility? Is that, like, I mean, I don't go in someone's I'm room. I'm not saying then, it's not a possibility, like, but I, why are you, know you being what? so I defensive? Can, because you're fucking being a bitch about it. That's why. You didn't do it. You didn't do it. Done. OK, then shut the fuck up about it. The more defensive that <laughs> Daisy gets, the more I question whether she really did it or not. Because uh, okay. when you know you don't do it, who cares? I went in Brett's room and we hung out and we were getting to know each other better. And whatever, it is what it is. Know so. each other better. I'm tired of talking about it. So basically what happens in this um, scene is that Daisy had actually some one-on-one -on -one time with Brett without winning any challenges, without anything. And Brett would do that a lot of the time. He would pick some girls and take her to the rooms to do the you know, like, and pretty much Albert is confronting Daisy if she did anything with Brad, like having sex, for instance. And this is like, I'm not gonna tell you, like, what the hell. I mean, Daisy was never my favorite. I mean, she looked good, um, but not my favorite. Aubrey, she wasn't my favorite either because she'd be talking about, well, that, <laughs> back in that day, she was talking mad crap about my girl, Angelique. AKA Frenchie. Oh. Right? So I don't like Avery. I think she is pretty boring. And Daisy was. Well, you can watch the show. Let me, let me know. This, this he doesn't even care. There's no emotion. What about you? There's How do like, you feel? That's I what we're really trying to get out of you, Chrissy Joe. You won't say anything, dude. Because it's not. Like it's hey, not between nothing. you guys. He knows how I feel. But we're all sitting here at dinner together. We're all sharing our feelings, and you're the only one that's not that's saying. No Why? Why is because that? the only one Why? I care about. Can... Oh, how I feel. Well, it true. angers me that Chris. You can't. I mean, there. She's there for Brad. She's not there for the girl, so she doesn't have to actually share her feelings with them, right? I mean, it doesn't matter if you're having dinner or not. See, Joe feels that she doesn't have to explain herself to well, anybody. We've been trying to ask you what the. You're feeling no you don't want to say it. Still no answer. Still nothing. Come on, hello. It pisses me off that Destiny's making these accusations because what the f does she know? And I was just like, oh, shut up, skank. You're stupid. And you guys can all say what you, can you want to say, but I can't respond. You respect. always say what you want to say, dude. Thank always. You always do. You want an answer? Do you want an answer or not? Yes. Please. 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 Joe jump up at me and point her finger in my face when she's the one who has all these issues and lies constantly. She does He's lie. asking you questions Joe and you still will not fake. answer them. Why? Why? I don't feel that I have to answer it to them. I'm not here for them. True. She doesn't have to answer to none of y'all. She has to answer to Brad. But Brett was the one, the instigator, who was actually saying all this stuff. You go watch that episode. It's an Oh My oh my God Girly or something on YouTube. Yeah. He was the one who started this. So, he, and he acting all innocent. And then he's going to be like, oh, you know what? You're, you guys are ruined. You guys just ruined my dinner. I'm tired. Get the fuck out of here. And he left, and, and it's like, dude, you just wanted this drama. Like, why he acting like he innocent? <sighs> anyway. Amber versus Christy, Christy, Christy Joe. Joe. It had been bothering me since the night before that Christy Joe interfered with my date with Brett. I feel like you're playing me. I'm already so distraught from the date. How much more of this can I take? I'm not trying to impress anybody. I'm not trying to get anybody's fucking approval on me because I fucking don't give a shit. I don't 
even fucking give a shit anymore. The one person I want to know that what he thinks about me is him. Don't, don't fucking raise your voice at me. I'm sorry, you can't help. She didn't raise her voice. That's the fucking truth of it. You You're know what the truth is? Life. You've been fucking with everybody. You've been crying every day here. You've been one end to the other. I am stressed out to no end. So of course I'm gonna be from one fucking pendulum to the next because I'm fucking stressed out. This is how I deal with my stress. You, you deal with it like a ping pong. Maybe one day I'm feeling this way, the next day I'm feeling that way. You know, emotions come and go. No wonder he has trust issues. I have dealt with Chrissy Joe and her bullshit for so long, and it's infringing on my time and on my time with Brett. And I'm over it. You've been fucking with Brett, you've been fucking with me. It's never consistent, I'm sick of it. And now you raise your voice at me? Fuck it. Amber's really messing with my head. I honestly so feel like I'm- Okay, to be honest, that fight was weak as hell. I mean, Amber was stating facts Brissy Joe was explaining her reasons and stuff. But to be honest, Rock of Love fights, like in this season, I like them. But if you compare them to the fights of Flavor of Love, these fights are pff, whatever. Like Flavor of Love, they're all in your face. What's up? What's good? My girl, New York. You know, my girl, Pumpkin. Oh, well, she's not my girl. Never mind. Ugh. No, I lied. I straight up lied there. But anyway, we have New York, Safari, Becky, Back Wild. You know, all of them were all hype. You know, Boots, you know, Bucky, Dara, all of them girls are like, what's up? Pumpkin, she's just whatever. But compare those girls to these girls, these girls, like, they don't have a mouth, you know? When you fight, when you're being in, like, an argument, you have to be like, what's up, bitch? What's up? You gonna do a body and you had to but these girls are like you been fuck on me you been doing these and i'm kidding it. and i'm ready it's like girl come on get your gangster on what the hell i'm sorry i'm sorry <laughs> i'm sorry let's continue what's gonna happen i see heather this is very difficult because i feel like this person is the closest person to me in the house Maggie versus jessica I feel like Jessica's too innocent and she's too not prepared for, for his lifestyle. For him. Okay. But you've only uh, yes. known me for two weeks. Okay. I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with you. I don't think, I think there's you're anything great. wrong with me. I'm not worried well, about Well, I'm not mm -hmm. asking for a defense. Okay. This whole time, Megan and I have been obviously the closest to each other, and then suddenly I feel like she was using my weaknesses against me and trying to throw me under the bus. And to be betrayed really sucks. Oh, honey. I'm fine. I'm fine. Yeah. Oh, that's Look, I don't, I don't care. You want to go talk? Come on. Yeah. I didn't say anything negative about her. I yes, just said that she was very innocent and naive. But obviously, point proven. Didn't take much for that. Okay, yes. To be honest, Megan, she was a on the um, show. Uh, she was uh, like a on the show but not on this one specifically she turned into the villain character like lacy um i think in charm no first it was i love money and then it was charm school so definitely she turned this character into the villain one and it was great but in this case she wasn't really attacking um jessica she just had to say so name like if you're with this pretty much woman heather who was um Trying to get all the dirt about them, you, you have to, you know, you have to throw someone under the bus. But saying that someone is too innocent, like, that's not throwing someone under the bus, in my opinion, you know? But, um, yeah, Jessica, I mean, she was, Jessica is a sweetheart. I do follow her on Instagram. And she is a sweetheart. She's always been a sweetheart. But, you know, I don't think she was too sweet for the show because she gave it that flavor, you know? She gave it that different type of energy to the show, like a different, you know, there's a lot of bitchy, like, bitchy cattiness, like, a lot of drama. Like, and there you have Jessica, who's very, very sweet. So, of course, she she was good for the show. Not good enough, not not good for Brad. No, she's too good for Brad. Like, Brad, I mean, I'm not talking crap about Brad, but the way he just, you know, it's like Flav, you know, it's whatever. I go, those girls are beautiful. She's like, I thought no competition. The fact that Daisy says that she has no competition in this house pisses me off because yeah. I have Look at her tits. Right They're right super good. She right? No more. Oh, Destiny, Destiny is, is acting like a nut. 
And I know that the minute Daisy walks through that door, all hell will right. be on mm -hmm. like Donkey Kong. Look at those fake Every ass dudes. Walk in the door, <laughs> my blood is boiling. So what happened? How was it? We had dinner and like you just had good conversation. Of, yeah. Like what? Of, obviously talked about my those extensions too. I've been wondering about that today well, myself. Tell me about it. What are you wondering? What does it make sense to you? That you still live with your ex-boyfriend that you were with. Well, you know what? I'm not a cold-hearted bitch, and I'm not gonna kick him out. I'm not street. saying that, dude. I'm just asking. Very you. defensive. Okay, well, that's what I'm saying. I don't get it. I don't understand. Well, if you shut your mouth, I can tell you. Excuse okay. me. Excuse you? Like she shouldn't even say excuse me. Excuse you, Daisy. Who the hell are you talking to? The hell are you talking to? Destiny was like, oh, I just wandering down by myself. A little bit of attitude, but not a lot of attitude. So. Daisy snapping back. That's why she was. She, she had so much baggage on the show. So much. We're gonna see it after this fight. But let's let's continue. What? Are you gonna listen? Are you gonna? I'm listen? asking you a question. Why do I need to tell you? Why do you leave your ex boyfriend if you're trying to date Brett Michaels? I don't understand it. Why is she here for Brett when she still has somebody at home? Facts right here. Facts. You know why? Because freaking Daisy was going so hard on Christy Joe for actually being married or something. But you got your man in your crib waiting for you. I mean, they said they weren't together. And Charles, he looked like the devil. And I mean, <laughs> I wouldn't leave that either. But, you know, Daisy, you're lying. You're a lying ass. Strings do, but apparently you do. Shut the fuck up, bitch. Seriously. All right. What's she gonna tell her to really shut the? Well, 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 yeah. Come on, Amber. Destiny's Jump in. Not the only one that has things on her mind. Yes. Today, you so tell her. I do too. And I'm gonna let her know. You guys live in a one-bedroom apartment for the past two years. And you're serious. Yeah. Like, I'm here for Brett, and I'm 100% open. You don't think I'm here for no, Brett? No, I, I just fucking hit you. Oh my god, that fucking dirty laundry. Now just fucking do it. Why don't you just listen to me for a second? You're not gonna walk away from me. I was observing the girl Jessica on, and I was just thinking, oh my gosh, is this really the rock star life? Because I'm stable and don't have any drama and I don't so deal well with crazy. What I want to know is, why are you here? You looking for someone to save you? Why are you all getting up I'm not, me? I'm talking to you. What did I do to any of you? What do you people want from me? How much more can I make this any clearer? <laughs> Gang up on me. What I'm saying is, there's a lot of secrets going on there, Daisy, and it makes me. Yeah, but you know what? I talked to Brett about it. Obviously, not enough because he's questioning you tonight at dinner. Maybe. And that's taken away from my time, and I'm sick of people taking my away from my time. Well, I'm Brett. sorry. Thank Maybe you. you should have more to talk about with him then. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you, bitch. <sighs> I need to pause because since I was, I think. When did I watch this? When I was like 15, 14, maybe 15, I guess. Ever since I saw that clip, because they bleeped it um, in the real show. Like if you go back and watch it, they bleeped up this part where Amber is like, F you, F you, B. Ooh, I need to, hold on. I should have more to talk about with him then. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you, bitch. That energy, that energy. Amber had when she said that, that was fire. I mean, I live. I, 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 I remember watching that episode like what, um, five months ago and I re, I had him replay that section like, and she's like from her soul, you know, like, oof, oof. <laughs> it gets me every time. Anyway, continue. I have dealt with Christy Joe and her bullshit for so long. Exactly. And once Christy Joe has left, now I'm dealing with Daisy's bullshit and it's infringing on my time, and that is bullshit. It is. Uh, what did I do to you? Listen to me, Leave for a me second. alone, Just dude. Listen, listen. Do you think you're better for him than fine? Listen. You're not gonna be with my friend where you live here. Don't roll your eyes at me, bitch. You live with your ex-boyfriend. You guys have goo goo gaga eyes. How do you know that I'm goo goo gaga ga eyes over here? I'm sick. Day? If I was, then why the fuck are you? You're not gonna be with my friend. I'll be so Heather jumped in the fight, and 
I don't condemn her from stepping in and saying what she had to say. To be honest, I always thought Heather was going to come back into the house like New York did in season 2 of Flavor of Love. But she didn't. Yeah, but I think Heather was jealous of, I mean, of Daisy because she had been having sex with Brad. And I, what I believe is that Heather, from the podcast that I watched, she also thought she was, you know, going to return to the house and compete for Brad. Which it wasn't the case. So I think she was, she made great TV here, you know, throwing that uh, bottle of water to Daisy's face. I mean, Ratchet TV, but we love it. Husband, you can say other things. Daisy oh, versus I Destiny and Heather. I'm not in the right? marriage, so I, I'm not married. That's not your standard. situation. Exactly, it is. Okay, so then shut the fuck up about it. What? Destiny what? is attacking me again. This is so jacked up, and I'm so over her. She needs to get away from you right now. I'm sorry, does anyone else here live with their ex-boyfriends? I don't. Why do you live with their Wait, boyfriend? Wait, I don't have an ex-boyfriend. Because the situation- For the past two years, and you say you haven't been intimate in two years? I call oh, bullshit. I will fuck you. Don't fucking touch me, dude. Get the fuck, fuck out of my face. Daisy is like waving her hand in my face. I didn't know if she was going to hit me or what. You don't know shit about- You better shut the fuck up right now. Yes. I'm sorry. Good, John. I'm so sorry. Why don't you come over here and fucking deal with this shit? You're just so bad. I don't fucking need anybody to- I have you or else you're going to boyfriend. No, I fucking don't. I think that Heather has filled these other girls with some thoughts and because unfortunately Nobody. they are weak people, she easily manipulated them and had them turn against me. Do you know who I am? I My uncle is Oscar De La Hoya. If I wanted a fucking way out, I would have fucking called for all it. I've never had four crazy psychotic people coming at me, <laughs> yelling at me because of my life, because of you know, my situation. If you're so concerned about it, maybe you should be talking to Brett about it, not screaming at me. My ex-boyfriend is my roommate. What am I supposed to do? What happened is that uh, Daisy was actually hiding a secret and that secret came out when Heather came to the house to find out some dirt. She was living with her ex-boyfriend, Charles. So apparently, Daisy said that she wasn't intimate at all with Charles and she had been pretty much no action for a year and a half probably which I call bullshit just like destiny because if you have your ex living in your house I mean I don't have an ex but if I did I mean and sometimes you know especially like during quarantine um you're gonna have your, you know, physical desires. So, of course, it's going to be <sighs> almost impossible not to get your with your ex. That's what I say. What's up? <laughs> anyway, so here they're all calling her out because pretty much her story doesn't match. Let's continue because Heather is jumping in again. She be an independent woman and make your own money. I do oh, make my own, own, own fucking money. Go. Listen to me. I'm fucking done. It's ruining my fucking night. Listen, I let you guys try to work it out. You're not working. Okay, he fake. Heather jumping in. She's like, okay, I, you should make your own money. I do make my own money. Yes, she made her own money. She was a stripper. Like, we know that. She was a musician, although she couldn't even find the freaking tone of the, of the song. Like, she... she Daisy was a horrible singer, and I've heard her l later, and, and, and I'm sorry, y'all. I know how to sing. I freaking study that. Like, I know how to sing. So, I I can critique her as a singer, singer to singer. Daisy, no, honey. I don't know if you keep singing, but mm-mm, mm-mm. You better f continue stripping because you have a bomb body, and strippers make money. So, what's up? Something that I do want to tell you. Earlier today, we had a conversation with Destiny, and she said that she is not 100% Of course. With you. I said, Amber I can't right say that I'm... Room. I said this to you as well, that I'm falling in love with you. I have. I've given everything. Right. And I feel like Daisy has too. Amber I can't right say that I'm room. in love with you, Brett. 100%. It How is she going to be in love? a little bit more time than they... 
Did you come here solely for Brett, or if this was a different show, with of different course, guy, would you be here for him? And you can like what you mean, Amber? Because and then they're like, I don't understand. hold on, How, what you mean? If this was a show with another guy, would you would you do it? First of all, you all knew it was gonna be Brett Michaels because you already knew that there was a season one. So you were like, oh, of course, we're gonna be competing for Brett Michaels. Girl, if it was somebody else from another rock um, band or something, of course you're gonna be there because all of y'all were there for TV. So this right here, this gaining up like Daisy and Amber, fake as hell because they had issues also. But they wanna attack my girl Destiny because she was on a TV show looking for love. Who gives a hell? Because I'm not gonna say the other word. Who gives a crap if it wasn't Bray Michaels? I'm I, I'm sorry. I didn't like that Destiny got kicked off and freaking Daisy stayed. But whatever. It's not valid. How is that not fucking valid? Because we're here with three fucking period. No, no kidding, but you know what? I knew coming in. Did you know? Yes, right I now, did. I, I auditioned for the first season. I wanted to be here so bad I couldn't even barely watch it because it tore me up inside because I wasn't a part you of see? it. see? So, Destiny auditioned for the first season. The girls didn't know it was Brett Michaels. So, of course, Destiny found out after she didn't make it to act that it was actually Brett Michaels. So, she's like, oh, okay, I, you know, I can, I can like that, you know? Um, but it's like, she auditioned for the first season not knowing who it was. So, of course, you're going to be open to whatever because you're in TV and you're trying to make good TV. You're trying to be a, a, a TV celebrity, pretty much. So, it doesn't really matter who they freaking... Um, rocker or rapper or whoever the hell is the um the guy that tr you're trying to date like because this is all for tv they don't even care about you what the hell you mean but of course they had to throw someone under the bus so i kind of understand you know but i still get pissed off because destiny was my girl what you mean i can't believe that amber and daisy are both turning against me i thought oh, amber was my no. friend I cannot say that I am in love with you. you, but what I can say is I deeply care about you and I have feelings for you and I'm willing to do whatever it takes to take it to the of next course. level. Yeah, you know what? I did Ooh, because yeah. I couldn't help it. Let me, let me finish. It's really freaking important to me. As a girl being vulnerable at the, at the end of that night, that last night, you could have just said to me, hey, let's cuddle and just spend the rest of the time together. But instead, <laughs> I felt like you were taking advantage of me, taking advantage of my vulnerability and my feelings, and you ultimately sealed the deal. I'm just a man. I'm, I'm, I'm not just. Blood. I'm not just some <laughs> chick that he can just sleep with. You know, well, I'm not. Act like I have to give it to Heather. You shouldn't act like that. Yes, that's the problem. Okay, if you go into a relationship or you go into meeting someone, and the first thing that you do the first time you guys are alone, it's, you know going down on them or having you know like the intimacy of course every single time you meet later you're gonna have the coochie coo you're gonna have the coochie coo so it's like she's like oh you took you took advantage of my vulnerability girl you shouldn't act like that if you wanted him to see you with different eyes Brett, he got thousands of men of oh, man, <laughs> no, I don't know, but <laughs> he has thousands of women, okay? So, of course, if, you know, he's pretty much an older guy who is in a TV show and he wants to get laid. He's kind of like a pervert, you know, like, he's always grabbing his penis and whatever. So, he's kind of like a pervert, let's be honest. Um, he likes, you know, girls and it, I mean, everyone has a percentage of perverted in them. Like, to be honest, like you might like something that people would consider pervert. And I, I might like some stuff that maybe you think it's, maybe you think it's, it's perverted. He likes women. He's a man. And especially this type of man, you know, like that all he thinks is like, Ooh, I'm going to smash this. So... Daisy, you knew, like, when you put yourself out there to be a hoe, you're going to be treated like a hoe. That's that's the, my fucking conclusion. Anyway. You know, I'm not... You act like that. You know what? I didn't oh, act like that. Oh, I acted second. the way... Take it easy. Take it easy. I don't have any slutty ass. You're a whore. Okay, yes, so Heather. Let her know. They kicked your ass to the yeah, first oh, place. Oh, you can't even... You can have no, my no, leftovers. No, Whatever, Stevie Nicks. <laughs> 
were like, You're okay, but we're gonna comment on this after the beating. Stop. Stop. For one second. Stop. Two. She's just what? A Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, okay, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I, yeah, you do. Sweetheart, you couldn't pay me enough to Please. be you. Oh, really? Then why do all your photo shoots look like mine? Why you got your what hair like mine? What the fuck are you talking about, bitch? I f***ing own my sh**. I f***ing look like yes. this long yes. before yes. ever. Yes, yes, yes. You are. Oh, 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 my God. Help her. She didn't even do nothing. Oh, yeah, she punched me. So what happened was uh, pretty much, of course, Heather and Daisy had, you know, a rough relationship in the sh on the show, and of course, a lot happened outside of the show. It's confirmed by Heather on the podcast of Talk of Love uh, that Daisy, you know, she was being fake, and uh, some drama happened with Twelve Pack. I don't even know what really happened because I really don't pay attention when it comes to Daisy stuff, like. Because, I mean, nah, I didn't even watch her Daisy of Love show. Because I saw the first episode and I was like, eh, this is boring as hell. Like, Daisy, first of all, her presentation was singing. And I was like, okay, I'm done. You lost me with this. But anyway, here in the reunion, um, you know, Heather was like, oh, your slutty actions. And Daisy was, oh, wow, what's that? Like, I, I owe my shit. You wouldn't pay me enough to be you. So, and Heather was like, what do all your pictures look like mine and whatever. And then, you know, it went down. Like, she stood up and she was in front of Heather. And, of course, Heather pushed her away from her. And then Daisy came at her and Heather had a grip of her hair or her extensions. To be honest, a lot of people wore extensions back in the day. And there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, wait, but don't come for me. This is all my hair. Okay, I used to wear extensions back in 2015, I guess. Extensions are good, but uh, she had a grip of those and she was like, oh, she wasn't really punching. Like, well, she was punching, but it was like weak punch. Like, kind of like popping her, like. But this was actually one of the first fights, like reunion fights, like where somebody physically attacks someone. And the BH1 series. Back in the day when I was younger, of course, I was like, how are you going to call Daisy? You know, slutty if you act the same way on the, your show. It was kind of like hypocritical to me, but whatever. It was, it, it is what it is. You know, at the end of the day, Rock of Love was great. I hope all the girls are doing good. Rock of Love 2 features Destiny, one of my favorites. Jessica Megan, one of my favorites. Peyton. Peyton was actually very, very, very gorgeous. She had uh, such an amazing energy. I wish she would have made it farther in the game oh of course my bae my frenchie of course frenchie is from season two but of course frenchie she doesn't have any fights uh in season two because she's not a fighter like that but wait she did have a fight at, in the reunion with Aubrey, and they didn't put it oh you know frenchie is very she's very sweet she's full of plastic surgery but she's amazing Regardless, trust God. I wasn't really a fan of Amber. I wasn't really a fan of Daisy. I wasn't really a fan of most of the girls. All right. Oh, sorry. Anyway, guys, if you like this video, make sure you like, subscribe, and leave your comments and suggestions down below. And of course, follow me on Instagram and on TikTok as moi cheeks remember my album is going to be down below and i will be reacting to more videos i think the next video I, I think you guys like when i react to bgc but i'm gonna try to find more of rock of love best that was all for today i hope you guys like this video and i will see you next week bye